Hey guys, girls. I guess tonight I'm going to do a quick video on uh, Vixen files, also known as uh, mill files, because they're cut with a, a milling machine. So uh, recently I've been collecting different file holders, so I thought I'd go through them briefly with you, just to show you what uh, was available on the market. I got a couple of mystery holders, a couple that I know what they are. So uh, anyway, we'll go through it just for the sake of documenting this for the future. So I've got two wood files here. Actually, I should mention these are all 14 inch standard uh, file holders. They're all, the first four or five are flat wood holders, and then there's two that can be uh, curved a little bit. So this one uh, is kind of like the gun stock kind of style, when it's got a handle on the front. I don't know what brand these first two ones are. All I know is that they're identical and they're not marked. The next one says model 259 on it and you can see it's got a bit different handle and right here should probably not enough light but it says 259 right there after my thumb. Then I got two more mystery files. They're kind of uh, a mashup between the first ones. It's got the handle here then the other kind of grip on it. The next one is a Blue Point BF-775A. It says Snap-on and Blue Point on it. I'm not sure when the uh, Blue Point and Snap-on kind of evolved to be the same company. So this one, if you haven't seen it before, you can adjust the uh, this so you can have a, a bow out or if you bring it in. how you want to call it so anyway you can bow it out the other way this one when I got it it was full of uh, Bondo somebody tried to file down some uncured Bondo and took me about a half an hour to clean it out it was a bit of a mess then the last one I've got just gotta check my piece of paper here see what it is it's a Duro metal 1571 so I'm gonna post a link to the ones I have uh, manuals or sales literature for and it has a uh, when I took off the blade it said teeth that bite again I don't know if you can see that with the light or not I'm kind of standing on the wrong side of the light but it seemed pretty smart whoever this is actually the what the envelope the file would have came in they had this between the file and the uh, stainless backing which kind of makes sense because you their files are both double-sided so why wouldn't you want to try to protect it a little bit against the uh, the backer? The point wasn't set up like that. Shortly after I brought them here, I, there was a leak so of water that got onto these files. So I took them all off and just cleaned them off and put some WD-40 on them to try and displace the moisture. Seems to have worked. Files are pretty resilient. You'll be able to tell if they've been used for lead work or not because the lead will be stuck in the teeth. And you can maybe see just by my thumb there's a couple chunks out of this file. But for the most part they seem to that they stay fairly sharp. I don't know what the history was other than I got all of these except for the blue point file holder together from the same lot. So I don't know why somebody would own six of these things. So they probably couldn't use them all at the same time, I wouldn't think. Although they've all been used. So other than that, these were all eight threads per inch, or teeth per inch rather. I just put the, uh, the ruler on here and measured eight of them off on one inch. So this is it for the uh, flat 14 inch files. I've got a, uh, another one in the mail that I'm gonna show you that's kinda neat. It's called the reveal file. It's kinda stubby and it's meant for all kinds of weird locations. And I think that my car is probably a prime example of where you might wanna use it. So that's why I picked that one up on eBay. So like I said, there'll be a video in a couple weeks about that once uh, I get my hands on it. So thanks for watching.